Good morning, everybody. I look a little crazy. Um, we're gonna vlog today. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. Let me see. It's 12 o'clock. I'm gonna make breakfast and talk with you guys. So, let us begin. <laughs> okay, so it's 12 o'clock, like I said. I realized I needed to film a video. So we're gonna vlog today, and I'm gonna take you guys with me through my day. Um, I don't have much going on today. I need to do some stuff with Depop, ship an order. I need to vacuum, do some laundry that type of stuff so i started verity last night and i started at like eight o'clock and then i've continued reading it this morning i'm on page 245 so i only have about 50 pages left before i'm done oh my gosh <laughs> i'm gonna tell you guys my feelings about verity really quickly while i make breakfast because it's kind of insane. It's basically the story of Verity Crawford, who is like a pretty famous writer, and she is unable to finish writing her, this seems like a lot of butter. She's unable to finish writing her like series that she has, this novel series that she has. So her husband, Jeremy, recruits Lowen to finish writing Verity series for her. Then you just kind of like, everything kind of unfolds really quickly. Um, the beginning, like 30 pages were probably slow, but after page 30, like it picked up so quickly. I was baffled um, by how quickly I'm getting through it, but I will say it's definitely not for everybody. There's like very triggering talks. So look them up at before you read because I don't want to say them because it kind of spoils, but not really. It doesn't spoil because you don't know what capacity it's in, but like it kind of does. I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely like very different from her other books which if you've read any of her other ones, I know like the topics are like, it ends with us like entirely about domestic abuse, like pretty much the whole book. Ugly Love deals with grief. November 9th is like trauma. What's another one of hers? All Your Perfects is like very heavily um, focused on it's very heavily focused on like infertility. So there are just like definitely like triggering topics with all of hers. Anyways, I think I'm gonna finish that probably before I go run my errands because I only have like 50 pages left. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the eggs. Breakfast is served. So now I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I'm going to, um, Try and finish Verity, honestly. And then we're gonna go from there. Is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I wanna be with you always. You are my world in every place. It's the things that you do. 
Okay, hey everybody, I just wanted to check in really quickly. I'm sorry if the AC is loud. I can't help that it's like 90 degrees. Just bear with me. Um, so I'm on my way to run a couple of errands really quickly. I, um, I have to go to two post offices. One, well I have to go to the post office and then I have to go to the like UPS store to check the PO box. And then I think I'm gonna get like Starbucks or something. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Uh, so I wanted to just update you. Probably saw some clips of me just doing chore work. I needed to get ready for the day and then I finished eating breakfast and I finished Verity. Um, and then I set up the vacuum. We already have one of them, but uh, I got another one just because they're so amazing and they keep the house so clean. So if you're looking for a good robo vacuum, like a robot vacuum, I highly recommend the Oofies. They're great. Um, and I order them through Chewy so that it comes, I could just add it on to my dog food order for Rocco. We're gonna talk about Verity really quickly. What? So, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, I do believe it's Colleen Hoover's only, like, thriller romance novel. Um, I really enjoyed it. I would probably give it, like, a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. I don't know. I'm still debating on my rating. That rhymed. But it was really good. I had a great time. I did enjoy myself. Um, I will say... I saw a couple people, at least on my TikTok for you page, say that it was like super scary and it kept them up at night. I didn't have that. I wasn't kept up and I did start it very late last night and then I ended it like around 2 a.m. At least it didn't for me. I can't speak for everyone. I look up trigger warnings. Your mental health is first, so do not read it if you think it will trigger you. There's definitely like grief. Uh, like parental uh, depression and like postpartum depression and anxiety I feel like could even be highlighted in some aspects of these books or if you've experienced that you might feel like you're going through it again I don't know how to phrase it without giving too much of the plot away but just look up Trigger Warnings, Verity by Colleen Hoover, if you want to read it. Uh, it definitely wouldn't be the first Colleen Hoover book I recommend to somebody. I would probably recommend something like Ugly Love or Heartbones first. That's just for me personally. Um, even It Ends With Us, which is a book that is pretty much entirely about domestic abuse. I think it had a much more like decisive ending whereas this was a little bit more like what did i just read take that into consideration when you're reading it um i have my depop order that i packaged that i need to ship off and then i need to take more photos to post for listings and if you are wondering this is what my packaging looks like it's like a leopard print and then this is the like front of it and then you get a cute little card and some stickers and that's that so I think I'm gonna go get something to drink first and then I'll go to the post office and the UPS store because they're on the opposite side of the highway and I don't want to have to make like six u-turns today so okay guys so I'm back home got my drink and I got some flossers because I was out so I'm gonna do a couple like small tasks. I need to take photos for some listings on Depop. Um, I'm going to, while I do all of that, listen to um, A Crown of Gilded Bones. I pulled it up while I was finishing my drive home and I have nine hours left. So I don't think I'm gonna finish it in this vlog because I do want to pick up either Where the Crawdads Sing, maybe continue my Throne of Glass reread, or Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. We have some options. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning though. I gotta do laundry, sheets, clean up my makeup, wash the brushes, list the clothes, 
take out the garbage. Just a bunch of mundane shit that I have been pushing off. And now we're here. So enjoy watching me struggle. I don't know who narrates this book. I truly don't. Because she is so committed. It's narrated by Stina Nielsen. God, she is committed to this role wholeheartedly. Um, so I'm gonna stop right now. I got like half an hour, so an hour more into the story. Uh, honeydew. That's, that's where I'm at right now. It's just all oh, honeydew. I'm going to take a break. The laundry is running, so I, I'm kind of on pause right now because we only have one laundry machine. So, as you know, we have to wait until it runs and we can move and continue. Yeah, I'm going to pick a book out of this lovely stack here. Or maybe a stack over there. I don't know. I don't really think I want to read some fantasy right now because now that I'm back into like the high fantasy fantasy realm with like the From Blood and Ash world, I don't really want to start reading Throne of Glass again, like pick it up because then I'm probably going to get confused with like the Fae and then the Atlanteans. I, I'm just going to leave it separate for the time being. So I feel like maybe it's anxious people or where the crowd ends one of the two i don't know which oh i'm also reading on my kindle i didn't even mention this bound by vengeance i'm already 25 percent of the way through with it it's pretty good i'm definitely not liking it as much as the other born and blood mafia books but i'm still i'm reading it I'm reading it. And then I'm going to read Sweet Temptation by Cora Riley. Same author. And then I'll read Bright Side. I also have Spanish Love Deception in my cart or in my Kindle borrowed right now. So I know I don't want to leave that. Verity, what are we giving it? I'll give it a four. It was a pretty good time. I could read some Greek mythology. That could be a possibility. I'll let you know when I pick something. Okay guys, so it is like eight o'clock, just shy of eight o'clock now. Um, this is gonna be the last check-in. I'm probably gonna do just some more footage like you've been seeing. Um, but we went to the pool and I tried to film a little bit, but I realized how uncomfortable it was because I didn't bring my camera and I tried to film some on my phone, but it's like super weird filming at a pool when there's like no people there and like it's very obvious what everybody's doing and you're like very aware of everybody. We had lunch or dinner and then we just kind of sat, she swam, I read, I brought Malibu Rising and People We Meet on Vacation because I tried reading like 10 pages of both Anxious People and Where the Crowd Had Sing earlier today and I literally couldn't get into it. So I just continued listening to uh, The Crown of the Bones while I was like cleaning and like relaxing and doing whatever. 
Um, I held up both Malibu Rising and People We Meet on Vacation and I said pick a cover and she said the People We Meet on Vacation. So I'm 50 pages in right now. I am loving it so much more than Beach Read. If you didn't like Beach Read, please give People We Meet on Vacation a shot. I think you might like it. It's a lot of like sarcastic, witty humor so far. Very vacation-esque. I think it's a great way to round off your August. And then for the Crown of Gilded Bones, I ended up getting another hour in. So I'm on chapter 17. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of this week. If you want to follow me on Goodreads, you'll be able to see my progress that I'm making. I'm just going to fold some laundry, hang up some clothes, shower, and probably put on Twilight because it's my guilty pleasure. Maybe I'll make some popcorn. I know I have a candy bucket that I keep in my closet because I keep it behind my sheets because I don't want anybody in my family to eat it, but I get a sweet tooth a lot and I have tons of Twix which is my guilty pleasure candy. I literally have so, so many. I have another chocolate bar. What is this? Hershey's? I don't know. This is probably not the best place to keep it, but I just keep it in the closet and hope that nothing happens to it. So it's gonna be it for me for actually updating you guys and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all having a great day. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video. But I, I enjoy the next video, audio, audio, visual, audio representation. I don't know. Just have fun. Have such a great day. I love you all. That is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I